So in this third suggested uh, lesson uh, segment um, or sequence, uh, we're going to look at the uh, different loops that are available. Again, all fundamental to how you go about using uh, programming computers and universally applicable. Um, in subsequent sessions, we can look at sort of the fun stuff like the music and the pins and devices and the like. So we're going to start off with the repeat loop, and we can see here what we have uh, when we initialize a variable to 10, and then uh, when we press the button A, it will count 10 times. It will repeat 10 times as soon as the count. And it'll do, well, all it'll do is just show an X, pause for a tenth of a second, clear the screen, and then um, uh, pause again. So it's effectively going to flash X. Uh, 10 times or whatever the number is uh, in the count. Um, so again, uh, as before, we will build up uh, this and we will uh, set our variable um, which we can call count or the counter or whatever variable you would like and we can pick up our maths block and type 10. So that will initialize on start. And then we can pick button A pressed. And then the meat of this session is the loops. So we will repeat. You can see it comes pre set up with repeat four times. And we can start out with that. Uh, there's a uh, sort of um, tackle this in a number of, uh, of different approaches where you could just leave it on repeat four. And I'll just get it to quickly clear screen, basic, pause, duplicate, pause. And as you can see, it's as simple as that. We'll run it with the four that's hard coded in, as we would say. And that'll just flash four times, like so. And then if we want to actually use our counter here, and um, we can drop into variables, pull over the count, and then let's set to 10. We can run that. We click on A, and then that'll just flash 10 times. And principally, what we're looking at here is, is if we need to do something a certain number of times, then um, we have a way of using either variables or hard coded numbers so that it can uh, repeat something. Um, and it, largely speaking, is as simple as that. So in the next segment, we will have a look at the while loop.